I got nearly killed five times in the war by bombs and um, other things in the battle at sea when I was on my way to Ireland. A motor torpedo boat attacked us and uh, I tried to get into a rowing boat and then a storm broke out and we had to go up to the North Sea for days. And um, then we got bombed out in Portsmouth and uh, my father joined the Navy and my mother joined the Army and I didn't see them for years, grew up in institutions. I was eight when we got bombed out in Portsmouth, yeah. Mm. Patrick's been dead over 20 years now, died in 99, and uh, he, he's moved on through the universe. He was seen by six or seven people before I saw him, three times, yeah, and he's moving through the universe. Mm. meditating in St Kilda and I was told to go to Richmond. I met him there and uh, he ended up giving me a free home because I was homeless and destitute here. Yeah. I was an, an illegal immigrant and living in hiding from the government. Yeah. <laughs> My husband retired um, as a tram driver and we came to live here to join a commune in Guildford with the Greek friends we met in Brunswick. We met all these Greek people and we were going to start up a community uh, and it all fell apart because they couldn't get their children to school. <laughs> so we ended up buying this house. Well, I travelled all over deserts on donkeys and camels and um, I worked for an oil company in Iran and then I travelled into many different countries, Afghanistan and Pakistan and um, then I lived in Jordan. No, I lived in Jordan before that. Mm. I had lots of Arab friends who were into Sufism and I guess it got into, I learned a lot about Sufism from them, yeah, which is very similar to the mysticism in the Christian world. Yeah. <laughs> of hospitality everywhere in the Middle Eastern countries, yes, it's the, one of the best places in the world. Mm. was done in India, in Bodhagaya, where Buddha sat. I was travelling through the Himalayas on horseback and I, I went up through to, to the borders of Tibet and I stayed in the Buddhist monastery.
I went to India in 76, worked with Mother Teresa in Calcutta. And I um, also worked with a, in the Howrah market with a Sikh man. And we did all sorts of documents, illegal. <laughs> I read the Lord of the Rings in Tehran. And uh, in the late 60s, I went to England and um, did work for Raina Unwin. And years later, 2015, my calendar came out. I was working in Italy on murals and uh, I went to Africa, uh, trek, spent a year trekking across Africa on foot, living with animals and I met my first husband Louis, Frenchman, in Kenya and, uh, and I used to work in Mombasa. <laughs> Louis and I had gone up from the Congo, we went through Central African Republic to Cameroon and Nigeria. And this, this was the portraits I did in Cameroon and then we went to Chad. Mm. This is um, a fellow passenger on a train. I, I, I traveled through Sudan on the way to, from Egypt down to Kenya. These are the Tibesti mountains, ranges. I, sketched in, painted in the Sahara Desert when I was travelling across there in 1964. And, and uh, we went back to Europe. He came from France and uh, I finished working in Italy. Then, then we went to France. Hmm. Then we went to England. Hmm. This mural illustrated a myth of Orpheus and Eurydice um, in, in, in the Baron's house in Catanzaro. After I'd left the Berlitz school teaching English, I, I'd met him in a pub nearby and he commissioned me to paint this mural for him. Mm. And he, he posed as Orpheus. I had a love affair with him before I went to Africa and um, he read me loads and loads of Italian poets, um, including Dante. When I stayed with my father in Spain, near Malaga, um, in Guadalmina Alta, I, I went either to Morocco and stayed with a family in Fez, or I went on donkey through these mountains up in the, up in the um, west of, of Malaga. And these were the sketches I did, these were the paintings I did. killed by the fox and she came. When Louis went out for a pee, she came in the back door with him and she went up by the roof and I, I could see that she was, she, she, you know, she'd moved out of her physical body. She moved up by the roof and she told me she'd been killed by a fox. Next morning a ranger came to the door with a gun and told us, confirmed what she'd told me. She'd, the fox had killed two cats and he'd shot it. The universe goes on forever.